Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today I am here going to present some informations regarding amniotic fluid embolism. What is amniotic fluid embolism? It is a rare but serious condition that occurs when the amniotic fluid that is the fluid that surrounds a baby in the uterus during pregnancy or fetal material such as fetal cells enters into the mother's blood stream. Causes of amniotic fluid embolism There are many different types of causes like obstructive causes and non-obstructive causes. The obstructive causes include eclampsia, uterine rupture, placental abruption, peripartum cardiomyopathy, etc. And the non-obstructive causes include emboli, cardiac anomalies, anaphylaxis, local anesthetic toxicity, transfusion reaction, etc. The symptoms The first stage of amniotic fluid embolism usually causes cardiac arrest and rapid respiratory failure. The rapid respiratory failure occurs when your lungs can't supply enough oxygen to your blood or remove enough carbon dioxide from it. This makes it very difficult to breathe. The other possible symptoms include fetal distress that is signs that the baby is unwell including changes in the fetal heart rate or decreased movement in the womb. Vomiting, nausea, seizures, severe anxiety and agitation, skin discoloration, etc. The woman who survives these events may enter a second stage called hemorrhagic phase. This occurs when there is excessive bleeding either where the placenta was attached or in the case of a cesarean birth at the cesarean incision. How serious it is? Amniotic fluid embolism can be fatal especially during the first stage. Most amniotic fluid embolism death occurs due to the following reason that is sudden cardiac arrest excessive blood loss acute respiratory distress multiple organ failure etc According to the Amniotic Fluid Embolism Foundation in roughly 50% of the cases women die within 1 hour after the symptoms start How it is treated The main medications that is your doctor might be given you medications to improve and support your heart function other medications might be used to decrease the pressure caused by fluid going into your heart and lungs transfusions if you have uncontrollable bleeding you will need transfusion of the blood blood products and the replacement of the fluid also in case of mother the treatment involves managing symptoms and preventing amniotic fluid embolism from leading to coma or death oxygen therapy or ventilator can help you to breathe make sure that you are getting enough oxygen is crucial so that your baby also has enough oxygen your health care provider might request to have a pulmonary artery catheter inserted so that they can monitor your heart medications might also be used to manage your blood pressure in many cases several blood platelet and plasma transfusions are needed to replace the blood loss during the hemorrhagic phase in case of an infant Your health care provider will monitor your baby and watch for signs of distress. Your baby will most likely be delivered as soon as your condition is stabilized. This increases their chances of survival. In most cases, babies are transferred to the intensive care unit for close observation. Women who survive amniotic fluid embolism can often have a long-term complications which may include memory loss, organ failure, heart damage that can be short term or permanent, nervous system problems, a partial or complete hysterectomy, damage to the pituitary gland, mental and emotional challenges can occur also, especially if the baby does not survive. Health condition may include postpartum depression and post traumatic stress disorder. Thank you. Have a nice day.